If you guys need your badges maxed out fast and legit, hit up Star Grinders on Twitter or Instagram and tell them JR sent you. Their links will be in the description down below. This is a Chucky Beat production. 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 Give me the green light Was good ISO game we back with another video and in this video we have some comp gameplay you guys see I hit level 28 this weekend my gaming chair smells like straight doo-doo this cheesy playmaking shot creator pulled up level 33 and I already know his gaming chair smells like straight doo-doo because he had a higher level than me. So yeah man, make sure y'all boys drop a like, drop a sub, turn on post notifications and join the ISO gang. In this video I was on my glitchy two way slash and playmaker. Real quick, I'm just going to show you guys the progression and the badges that I currently have on this build because I get this question a lot. You guys see I'm currently a I'm currently a 91 overall and then as far as my badges goes we still got some work to do this is what I'm rocking for my finishing this is what we have for my shooting I almost have all my playmaking so this is what I'm rocking as of right now and then I still need one more defense so we almost got all the badges on this build maxed out and yeah man once we hit 99 on this build it's gonna make it even more OP let's get it man like I said this 33 overall pulled up on the homies. Now I'm not gonna lie, this was a calm game. It went down to the wire. It was an extremely good game. Boy, you know his game and chair stank. His mind stank. Everybody game and chair stank after this weekend. That's just how it is. You guys see I'm running with my A1, my day one squad, C4 Koza. His link will be in the description down below. And my goat is locked down the homie pin. We be going crazy. So whenever with our lineup, you guys see we're running a pretty unique, a uh, pretty unique lineup. You don't generally see this. Um, we're running a, a two-way slash and playmaker, a lock, and then a playmaking glass cleaner. And you guys know these dudes. They got your typical any up stage lineup: the play shot, the lock, and the popper. And I'm not gonna lie, at first, this playmaking shot creator was going crazy. I'm gonna call him the Zigzag King because he literally plays like everybody else. Generally, whenever we lose, it's just the playmaking shot creators that left right. You guys are in the vibes with our lineup. I'm not gonna lie, unless we dot someone or they set paint because they think we can't shoot, it's it's not. It's hard to get threes off because you know our builds are made to rim run, and then so we have to rely on our defense. To stop the other team, especially if they have a playmaking shot creator left riding to get to get stops. Because if we don't get stops, threes are better than twos. And I'm not gonna lie, this this homie pin is one of the best lockdowns I've ever played with. He does an extremely good job at playing defense, and that's underrated. It's extremely hard to find a good lockdown that can actually get stops on NBA 2K22, especially this year because on current gen. The sliding is extremely bad and then with the left right D Rose cheese these little playmaking shot creators are extremely fast this center was stupid for giving up that three bro he's just sitting in the paint if they make us take twos and then they get you know they get buckets like they're doing right here they're gonna win a game there's no reason no IQ right there there's no reason that he should give up a three but I guess he wanted to test out see if you know Koza could hit from the corner because this build does have a really low three ball. But yeah, man, you guys see we're getting rim runs all day, but they're also, they're getting threes on the other end. So it's extremely hard to beat that. We have to rely on our defense to get stopped. Now you guys see me in the corner right here. I'm trying to bait off of the corner, trying to pinch this playmaking shot creator, but he's not falling for none of that. You guys see he's going crazy with the left, right zigzag cheese, hitting the city slide, doing all that. That's extremely hard to guard. But yeah, man, you guys will see towards the end of this game, 
that we start to really clamp up and we start playing better defense. You guys see the score right now. Here in a moment, it's actually going to get away from us. So I knew that I wasn't just going to let this playmaking shot printer go crazy. I wanted to see if I could make this lockdown shoot. And that's exactly what I did. You guys see this man? He should be out of stand, bro. He is zigzagging and he's still able to green that. 2K is crazy this year for that. If you don't run a playmaking shot crater or just a build, build in general that can get threes, you're at a disadvantage on this game just because a left right is so hard to guard. The sliding is bad and the defense overall on this game is bad in general. So you guys see the score. Like I said, it's 16 and 11. They low key got away from us, but we're able to cut it down to three. So right now, um, you see he's in, he's in sharp takeover, which is extremely OP. So now I'm thinking I'm gonna try and bait this playmaking shark crater extremely hard. You guys see I'm completely leaving the corner wide open, wide open and he trick that is it. That was a huge miss. He hits that, ball game over. I took a gamble. You guys see I shoot from the corner. I trick daddy it as well. Cozy gets a rebound and I'm able to green beam this shot. And just like that, we back in it six to 16. We right here, bro. We just gotta play, you know, keep playing defense. And I can already tell, man, this lockdown is scared. And look what 2K does to me. I bait off the corner perfectly and it gives me a shooting foul. <laughs> when do you ever see that happen? The playmaking shot player took a horrible shot and unfortunately he's able to get bailed out. So yeah, man, we gotta play defense. They show, they throw in scaries, they nervous. The momentum is all on our side. All we have to do is just stop them from shooting threes even if we have to give up a two or so we're going to get some stops because like i said with this lineup they throw another scary i should have been able to get that but unfortunately i sold the bag and i wasn't able to so we double team because we did not want him to get another three we double team and that puts us up two i throw the ball up to the homie koza he's able to run run and then we get another bucket so right now it's eight, 18 18. we don't want to give up a three we really don't want to give up any points so I'm telling them I'm going to help off the corner extremely hard because this lockdown is nervous. He gets dotted and he does not sh want to shoot the ball, man. He's nervous, bro. And now the playmaking shot creator, you can tell he's completely out of stamina. As long as Pan gets a decent contest right here, he's going to miss. And that's exactly what happens. We get the rebound and now all we need to do is just score two more buckets and it's game over. This was a kind of a crazy comeback, I'm not going to lie. That playmaking shot crater in the beginning was going crazy with the zigzag cheese. They threw another scary right there. I should have been able to get that. But yeah, man, we got the league now. All we have to do, we, do, all we, we don't want to give up any threes. As long as we don't give up threes, it's a ball game. So yeah, man, and Penn comes in clutch right here. Keeping up with the playmaking shot crater like he's doing right here on the zigzag with the way sliding is on this game is extremely hard. And you guys see he's straight clamping up. Forces the playmaking shot crater into a mid range. And yeah, man, all we had to do is score one more bucket. And just like that, we was able to make a crazy comeback. That's why you never give up. I hit, I get a backdoor cut, and that's a ball game, bro. So yeah, man, that's why you never give up, bro. You played the whole entire time. Play good defense, bait off the corner. And yeah, man, you can win any game. Thank y'all boys so much for, for y'all support, man. It's been your boy JR, and I'm out. Peace.